Hello, boys and girls. So today we're gonna do the number six. So first thing we always do is we sit up straight, calm our bodies, put our feet on the floor and get our pencil in pencil position. So I bet you're getting pretty good at this, but I'm still gonna show you. I'm gonna remind you lots and lots. You're gonna pinch your pencil, put those kids in the back seat, really work on holding it correctly the whole time. Okay, so our number six goes like this. So we're, I'm gonna put this down and use my finger. I'm gonna start at the skyline, come all the way down as the grass line and come back up around the fence line. So it's one stroke today, starting at the top, at a little bit of an angle and coming back up and around. Okay, so we can practice here and our verbal path says, slide down and around to pick up sticks. That's the way you make a six. Okay, so starting at the sky, always starting at the sky. Slide down and around to pick up sticks. That's how we make a number six. So remember, we're not going above the sky. We're not going below the grass. And we're going nice and slow, just like I am. So we're going to trace. We remembered that we can say the verbal path to train our brains, how to write the number six when we don't have dotted lines. So slide down and around to pick up sticks. That's how we make a number six. So I know this might be easy for you because you still have a dotted line. And some of you, it's still a little hard and that's okay because everybody's good at different things. But when you get to write a six in math and you just have to know how to write it, that's when you're gonna to have to use your memory to remember, and then hopefully your verbal path will help you. Okay, so we have our 10 frame, which we know is when it's all filled in. I bet you know the answer to that. How many is it? I bet you know it's 10. So today we're going to put six in there because we have the number six. So we know that we're gonna fill up half of it and one more. So we always start from this side and we're making our own counters. I know you're doing counters with Mrs. Vogel in math. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And so if I'm looking, I know that I have one more than half, which means six, but let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what we want. Now we're gonna trace six. Our S says S for six. So we're gonna start just a little below the fence line, down and around, one stroke. I, X. So we have the word six. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in our before and after. So let's go ahead and get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know five goes in here. And remember our five goes jump down and around and across the line. So just the spiral that you heard is not related to the current storm that's on the way. Thanks. Okay, and then we just had an announcement and I have done this video more than once already. So you're just gonna have to pretend you didn't hear that. So we're gonna continue. So we had our five, we went down, we jumped down, swam around, made a line to make a five, because that was our number yesterday, and I know those are gonna be tricky. I like, I can't wait to see how you, how you do on this today without lines. 
And then this one, our number six is slide down and around to pick up sticks. That's how you make a six. So five, six, seven. All right, there you go. Make sure to do your very best and take your time.